Uh, g'day, um, I'm Lance from Valley Mine Farm. It is uh, early spring here on the farm at the moment and um, so that is the time of the year that we're very shortly getting ready to plant potatoes which is um, always an exciting thing to be doing on the farm. So we're going to run through some of the processes that we would go through with planting potatoes. Obviously the first one is uh, to turn the paddock into dirt. So uh, I've been doing some ploughing today so I'm going to show you a bit of what we're doing there. I'll make a disclaimer to start with. I'm definitely not a competition plough so don't judge my ploughing too, hot, too harshly. I'm pretty good at making dirt and I try to keep it relatively tidy but uh, that's about as far as I get. So yeah ploughing today we're using uh, one of my favourite tractors which is a uh, petrol 35 Massey Ferguson um, and a little single furrow uh, 16 inch semi digger plough. We'll get into it shortly and uh, yeah we'll show you how it works. Every uh, little Ferguson tractor that was sold back in the 40s and 50s and 60s came with a special Ferguson spanner which uh, has two different sizes, uh, 11 sixteenths and inch and 1 sixteenth and that was designed to fit pretty much every nut and bolt on Ferguson tractors and uh, Ferguson implements which was pretty cool thinking by Harry Ferguson. Um, so that was the spanner you would use to change your wheels, to adjust your plough, uh, your cultivators, all that sort of stuff. Um, another cool thing about them is they have these measurements on each side. One side's in inch inches and one side is in centimetres. Uh, it was great for dipping in your fuel tank and measuring how much fuel you had. But uh, its main purpose was uh, measuring how deep you're ploughing. So put it on the furrow. So we're measure, uh, ploughing today at about seven inches deep. Um, with potatoes we have to plough fairly deep to try and get uh, enough soil to, to work up for a good loose soil to, to plant the potatoes in and uh, to be able to mould them later um, when we mould the, the ridges up to cover the growing potatoes as the crop gets bigger. So uh, paddock's all ploughed now, so that all went fairly well. Um, the next job we need to do um, is to start breaking the sod down uh, to get, get quite a nice loose soil, uh, obviously for planting potatoes in. So one of the decisions we made with growing potatoes is to be spray free, which means we haven't sprayed the paddock before ploughing with glyphosate. 
um, which just means that there'll be a little bit more sod on the surface that we need to try to break down and uh, also there'll probably be a little bit more sod hanging around when we go to plant that um, that's just something we've chosen to put up with um, so that we can sell a spray free product so I'm using uh, today two different sets of Fergie discs um, they both do the same job one is uh, mounted and one is trailed and really the reason I'm using both is just so that I can get to play with my toys um, so we'll get into that shortly and uh, show you how that works So we've been through the um, paddock about three or four times, maybe five times now with the discs behind the little Fergie and uh, it's starting to get to be pretty close to what we want for planting, getting nice and um, loose soil. I'm in the big tractor now and uh, we've got the rototiller on the back, we are going to get that through it. So the, the rototiller has uh, tines at the front which um, work through the paddock and, and sort of help loosen it up and that and at the back there's a crumbler wheel which uh, sort of helps bring some of the sod to the soil, uh, to the surface and helps break the sod up a bit. So I'm um, going to get into that now and, and uh, yeah, go through that a few times. is all disked and uh, cultivated ready to get some uh, potato seed in the ground. Um, we are trialling uh, a new toy this year for the first time. So this is a uh, Massey Ferguson automatic potato planter. Um, something I've wanted for a long time and uh, Claire and I went over to the Hawke's Bay last year to pick this one up. Um, the idea is that it's a one man operation. Uh, the guy on the seat drives along and the, the plants the potatoes for you. So uh, I will have a walk around it with the camera and show you roughly how it works. All right, so this is uh, where the potatoes go. You can see I've just got a few in there that I've been trying it out with. Um, it's ground wheel driven by these big knobbly wheels at the back uh, through this chain and uh, that turns these discs on the inside here where you can see that that's the potatoes are sitting at the moment. Um, the spacing is designed is, is uh, worked out by this cog here. This is actually um, changeable for I think there's about six different spacings. So by putting a bigger or smaller cog on and uh, up the front there you can see there's some different size gears that came with it. And even on the back here in terms of the seed spacing. So what actually happens, so these little catches here are spring loaded. As this disc turns from the ground wheel drive, it picks up a potato out of the bin and as it gets up over this little chute down here, it drops the potato. So we'll show you how that works. Okay, See the little hand opens up and down the spud goes. Yeah, so we've never actually used this machine before, so I know it's going to be a bit of trial and error. Um, when I was having a play around with it earlier, it was planting the potatoes nice and deep, but wasn't making very good ridges. So um, I might just uh, have to run the ridger through the paddock afterwards and uh, to make sure that there's some good uh, high ridges for the potatoes to grow in. And as they get uh, further along for us to, to follow with the ridger and, and keep mounding them up. So for the time being, I'm gonna get some potatoes in it and uh, get out there planting.
So, potatoes are in the ground. Um, so we've planted about half of um, the potatoes that we bought. And uh, the idea is that they'll be ready sort of a week or two before Christmas um, to be selling for Christmas potatoes. The um, potato planter actually worked really well. Um, as I said earlier, for some reason it wasn't making very big ridges, so I just ran through the crop afterwards with um, the potato ridger and that mounded it up nicely. So um, we will do some more videos later on uh, once the crop's growing and uh, we'll show you some of the things we do around weeding the crop and uh, ridging them as the potatoes grow um, but uh, for now um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time